I am Paul, M Kitchen Chef. Today we're going to make some fantastic hot cross buns. So here I've got some sieve flour. So we've got the sieve flour. The reason we sieve it is just to make it light and airy and just make sure them final lumps are out. Then we're going to add the dried yeast. I'm going to put that at one side. And then I'm going to add the salt. I'm going to put that at the other side. You want to do that just so the salt doesn't start killing the yeast. You want to gradually work that together. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of mixed spice, caster sugar and 100 grams of mixed fruit. You can replace the mixed fruit with chocolate chips to make chocolate hot cross buns for them kids. Then we've got 350 ml of water. We're going to slowly mix that in with a wooden spoon. Once you made the well, just slowly add the water, mixing it all round clockwise. If the mixture is a little bit dry, you can add a little bit more water. We're going to lightly flour the surface. We're going to get our dough and just scrape it all onto the table. And then we're going to start working the dough. Once we've brought the dough together, we want to place it in a lightly oiled bowl. We're going to cover it with cling film. We're going to let it proof for about 45 minutes to an hour in a warm place. Room temperature is fine. So I've got the dough after 45 minutes to an hour. It's nicely proved up. So what we're going to do now is just going to lightly flour the surface once again. We're going to take the dough out of the bowl and place it onto the floured surface. We're just going to knock this back for a minute and re-knead it for another two minutes. The reason you're knocking it back is just you're just knocking the air out and reworking some of the loose yeast in there. Once we've brought the dough back together, we're going to divide it into 16 equal balls. I'm just going to do that by getting a knife straight down the middle. As you can see, the nice chunky fruits, the beautiful texture of the dough just while I'm cutting into it. Once you've got the 16 pieces, we're just going to slowly form it into a nice round ball and you want to carry on doing this until you've got all 16 done. Once you've got all 16 on your tray, you just want to place a damp cloth over them and then let them prove for about 15 minutes or till they're double in size. While they're proving, you can make a crossing paste. We're just going to add the water to the flour to make a nice paste. Once you've mixed it, it should look nice and thick and easy to pipe. And now we're just going to place it into our piping bag. So about three quarters full and then just twist. Now our hot cross buns are finished proving and double in size we're going to cross them with the crossing paste. So it's dead simple, just get your piping bag, put a little twist in so it doesn't come out at the end. Simple little snip and all you have to do is just cross the buns. And we just carry on till we've done all 16. Once you've finished crossing all 16, we're going to place in a preheated oven at 200 degrees for around 20 25 minutes or until risen well or golden brown. While the hot cross buns are still warm, just brush with a little bit of honey. My personal preference is a little bit of sticky marmalade. Once you've finished, place on a cooling rack and allow to cool. These are great to be eaten at Easter or even all year round. <laughs>